my name is Sean Ross, and I am what you would call a professional model, but I like to call myself a muse. I noticed that I had albinism when I started to go to school. What, like I would say about the second or third grade, like usually like, I don't know, I'm not really sure which time that I really notice it, but I know that I started to notice it after going to school a couple of years when I started to hear the kids say things, you know, mean, cruel things, but then yet again, the kids say mean and cruel things to begin with, whether you're a person with albinism, whether you're fat, whether you're completely normal, quote unquote, people will say things horrible anyway. It's just what kids do. I don't think it was people who made me feel different. I think that I made myself feel different as a person. Me to begin with, not just because of my physical appearance, I feel different every day. You know, I walk down the street, I put my headphones on. I mean, literally before I came here, you probably saw me busting slightly a move when you open the door because it's just, I'm in my own world, but in a good way, you know? Like, I, I put my headphones on, I listen to music, I try to look at things in a very cinematic way. I started to put YouTube videos of me dancing on YouTube, and then one day, the guy by Nate, well, some people know him, some people don't, his name is Shamir Khan, and he is a fashion scout, also a photographer, but at the time was a student photographer who just wanted to shoot me, and he said, I think you could be a model, and I'm like, what? Like, me? And then, I ended up meeting with him that, like a day after or two days after, and then I signed my first contract in that same day, literally three hours later after shooting with him. If I could change anything as far as the way people perceive albinism, I definitely, that's why I'm, I'm moving more into film, because I feel like film plays a very, very big role in America, and I want to show people why is it that when a person has anything different, not even just albinism, different to begin with, why is it that they're automatically put or pushed into the mystic, mystical kind of perso persona of a person or character? Why can't it just be an albino guy or, or a person with albinism falls in love with a regular girl? Or vice versa, or same sex or not? I would just tell people or that one person with albinism or someone younger than me that live your life exactly the way you want to without any regrets, without any remorse, without any second guesses. Do exactly what you want to do, even if it isn't. If you want to be the first basketball player with albinism ever, do it. And I can't wait to see who is the first basketball player with albinism because I definitely want to be your friend because that's something groundbreaking. I would definitely would love to see more people with albinism doing things. I would love to see more of people like on TV, on, on anything. You know, I would love to see it. And when I see you, I want to see you smile. You have to explain to people what things are. Even though the movie Powder kind of offended me to say that he has supernatural powers, but then yet again, sometimes I think I have supernatural powers too. We all have supernatural powers. It's called yourself. <laughs> that is your supernatural power. That's what makes it specific, is that you are yourself. I guess I would just love to say thank you to the United Nations for allowing me to be a part of this tremendous and crazy and ab not absurd. It's not absurd. It is a... I don't even know what word I can say, but it's amazing. And I'm so happy to be a part of the United Nations helping anything with albinism. And I'm pretty sure I'll be seeing more of anybody soon, more of you soon. United Nations, this is great. Uh,